Okay, cool. All right, um, welcome to the JKS Office Hours uh, January 29. Um, on the call, we have myself, Tim, and John. Um, there hasn't been a lot going on the last two weeks um, directly related to the uh, JKS project itself. There's been um, a couple of change, changes related going on in Core and in the Bomb, um, but no direct news and no new releases. Um, I think there's a few minor pending changes um, to be released. Just okay. The only change is fixing a typo in the POM file, basically. Um, so no rush to release that. Um, so yeah, not too much. Um, in regards to related development, we have um, some system read related work, which is to help um, give a, for, it's got two main purposes. One, to give a read only view of Jenkins. If you're going full configuration as code, no one changes anything through, through the UI. Um, this allows users to see the configuration um, and export it, um, but not to, view, not to modify it. And the other side of it is to um, empower users to um, basically be able to see, be able to see how, how the instance is set up and allow them to contribute easier. If you take ca.genius.io, it's very hard to contribute to. People don't know what plugins are installed. Updating a plugin is very difficult. People don't know how it's configured. Um, and I think a lot of it is done quite manually. Um, so to that, what, that's a very good example of where it will be useful. Um, there's been a JIP, um, that's not actually the right one, so that's limited admin. There's a separate JIP for system read. Um, no, it's, um, it's JIP 224. If anyone wants to take a look at that and send any feedback to the mailing list. Uh, Um, yep, um, so there's a proof of concept implementation of it on Jenkins Core. There's a pull request on configuration as code um, showing how the UI would look to someone's system read. It changes it a bit to hide some content in fields that aren't relevant because they can't change them. Um, but it's pretty much the same. Um, we've had some work recently done on initialization milestones, um, which is to help fix issues with uh, configuration as code, modifying the Jenkins configuration while jobs are loading concurrently. Um, Francisco has sent a pull request. Um, there's been a fair bit of comments and feedback going on there. Um, I think it's mostly waiting for a downstream pull request in JCAS and possibly, um, and I think he's going to send an email to the mailing list just to get some wider feedback on it. Um, but that should mean that we can remove the hack that we have for Jenkins 2.204 plus, um, where you may have to add a delay um, so that Jenkins doesn't fail to start up. Um, this should remove basically the, the sleep um, and allow um, us to use a direct milestone. Um, so that's all on that. Um, uh, the, the previous release of JCAS introduced the JCAS test harness, um, which introduced a bit of fallout in uh, updating it in the bomb, as everyone using the bomb had to be updated because the um, previous test harness no longer existed. And how the bomb works is it um, it runs all the tests with all the compatible versions of plugins together. And since you, when you pull the new JCAS version, um, the other plugins were trying to get the new JCAS version with the new test harness. Oh, sorry, not the, with the old test harness, and that didn't work. So basically, we had to go through every plugin and update them and release them. Um, we've completed that side of it. Um, now there's just one plugin outstanding um, that 
has test failures due to uh, the credentials plugin had to be, I think, yeah, the SSH credentials plugin needed to be bumped as part of this. And as part of bumping that, um, that caused a conflict in the CloudBees folder plugin. Um, so we just have one outstanding um, pull request to merge. And hopefully Francisco will be able to take care of this. Um, and then once that's released, hopefully we can finally update it in the bomb version. It's been a two and a bit week effort, slowly poking away at plugins and nudging maintainers and getting them released. But that's almost complete now. Um, Snake ML API plugin I haven't had a chance to look at. Uh, we've been focusing on the bomb issues. Uh, JKS dev project. Um, we're still waiting for the blog post to be delivered. Um, I think that's sitting with uh, Oleg wanted to take another look as far as I know and um, it needs the file to, it needs the blog post to be updated to the release date when it's released. So it needs a copy editor or coordination between Sladen and a copy editor to, to do it. Um, I've approved it um, three weeks ago. So <laughs> let me assign this to Oleg. Um, possibly it'd be good to have the new release out anyway. Um, so there was a few failed releases because um, they're releasing from CI um, and the CI wasn't quite set up right. Um, but that should have been fixed now. Um, and Sladen has said that he'll get a release out today, um, which will be good. Um, Plugin compatibility highlights, I'm not aware of any. Um, just leave that empty. If there's any, any that's anyone wants to highlight, um, they can add them in later. And I think we've been through all the hot topics. Um, there's one new issue that's been getting a little bit of attention um, in regards to um, creating the Jenkins users with more information. Um, I don't think it'll be too hard if anyone wants to contribute to it. Is there a good first issue? Yeah, good first issue. I think it should be straightforward. I've just been trying to guide. Um, I don't think it would, I could do it quite easily, but I think someone else should be able to contribute it easily enough. Um, and there was also someone in Gitter asking about being able to set, generate or set the API tokens um, through this. Not really um, that they need, need to set them through it. It's more that they want stable API tokens when they rebuild. Um, so that's another potentially another issue to create. Um, and we've got the FOSDEM conference coming up this weekend if anyone is going to be there. Um, Friday is a, so Thursday there is um, some training on Jenkins run by CloudBees. Um, I think it's 25 euros for this one on Jenkins pipeline and one on um, Jenkins X. Um, Friday is Jenkins contributor day. And then there'll be a Jenkins stand at the conference Saturday and Sunday. And there's a CI CD dev room um, on Sunday um, run by Olivia, the infrastructure project lead. Um, so if anyone is going to be in Brussels, it's a free conference. Um, feel free to come along. Anything from you, John? Mm, nope. Cool. Not really. Oh, well. Cool. I guess we'll end it there. Um, I'll upload the, I'll send the recording to Oleg to upload to the YouTube channel. Yep. Cool. Thanks all. I'll just fix the, uh, never mind. Yeah, that's it.